my Christmas background is up and I thought you know what I don't really care I'm just gonna put it up right now and I'm just gonna keep this up until after Christmas Christmas is a little over three months away and why not and this really helps me to get into the mood just forgive all the creases it was folded away somewhere in a cupboard but I thought why not just put it up and get happy Hello my lovelies, it's Odette here. Welcome back to today's video. Hope you guys are doing super awesome and well today. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video. And thank you for tuning in today. I do have this makeup look for you guys. This extraordinary bold makeup look for you guys. Never ever ever have I done anything like this before. And um, if you guys want to see how I came up with this look, keep on watching. And I shall see you guys next time. Toodles. Okay, my loves, I am finished with my eyes, the lashes are on, the blue and white eyeliner is in the waterline, and to me, this is a little bit too much for me, for my liking, it really is, and this eye is puffier for some reason than this one, so this one is a little bit up and this one is a little bit down, but uh, although this looks good, it's a bit much. So we're just going to work on the face right now. I'm going to use my Rituals um, foundation. So we're just going to go straight into blending. And this is the Morphe Foundation 47 brush I'm using today. This is an amazing foundation brush from Morphe. This is the number 47 brush. It gets right under the eyes in the corner of the nose and it blends everything out evenly. So this is recommended for you guys. I'm going to leave it below for you just in case you want to pick it up. And there, there we are with the foundation. Doesn't look too bad. Like it. And um, again, this is from Rituals. And this is Warm Almond. I really love that foundation. It's, it's a good one. So this is my Essence um, Waterproof Tattoo Concealer. And this is in the shade Warm Toast.
this concealer is nicely blended out love that this is my setting powder from pure obsession this is the banana baking powder okay so i'm just going to take up the cover i'm just going to put a little bit in here I am going to be using my Fenty Beauty Hazelnut Powder. This powder is a little dark for my skin, but I'm going to use it anyways. And I'm going to use one of the little sponges I got from the dollar store. And we are just going to powder. I'm just going to tap this all over my face. And then I'm just going to blend it out. Do you see how nicely this powder blends out with the sponge? Just going to wipe down the cover. This powder blends out so nicely on my skin and again I do like using the sponge to do this because it really helps to absorb any extra oils that's on my face and it really gives me a beautiful matte look. It's a little bit dark but whatever. With the highlighter it's working. This blush is from the dollar store. You guys would have seen this and my dollar store video the other day and I'm going to put a little bit of this on the cheeks you guys can see that for one dollar this blush is really good I'm going to use my Sigma Switch and the same brush that I just used and I'm going to wipe this down and I'm going to go in with Breezy from MAC We are going to work on the lips right now and I'm going to be using this Cherry Shimmer Balm from Revolution. It smells wonderful. And I'm going to use my Mahogany Lip Liner. And then I'm going to go in with my lip topper. This is from Collection. I'm going to take my face cloth and I'm going to wipe that down. As you can see, it's now nice and clean. I'm going to dip it back in. And 
that's the lips done. Really pretty. I'm going to use my setting spray from It Cosmetics. This is the Your Skin But Better setting spray. Okay, my lovelies, here we are with the finished look of the makeup. What do you all think of this makeup look today? I like it. I like it. But like I mentioned earlier, this is a little bit too much for me. It's a little bit too bold. However, it's good to step out of your comfort zone every once in a while and do something a little bit out of the ordinary. And I do like this. I'm not going to wear this to work. It's a little bit too much. I mean, party season, yes, Christmas, Christmas get together, your Christmas dinners, whatever. Yes, this is a party look. This is definitely a party look. And I kept the lips really nude with the um, cherry um, shimmer balm from Revolution. I'm going to leave everything in the description box for you guys. It did turn out to be pretty good. And I think keeping the lips nude with this bold look was a smart move. I think it was, because I think if I had gone in with, let's say, like a red or maybe something pink, it wouldn't have looked good. But I think the nude really bring this lip, bring this lip, bring this look all together because I really wanted the eyes to be a statement. Now, I will definitely recommend this cut crease kit to you guys. This is really good for some of you who are struggling with your cut creases. This is amazing. So I used a bigger one today that gives me a little bit of a curve on the top of my eyes, but I blended it out a little bit because I didn't really want too much of a curve. And this is the one that has the curve to it that I use, okay? So it comes in a kit and this is from Amazon. I'm going to leave this in the description box for you guys, just in case you want to pick it up. It is a big help for me when it comes to keeping that line nice and neat over my eyes. I do like that. And uh, yeah, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys do like it. Leave me your comments below, sound off. Sound off below, I mean, I don't mind. I love to read your comments. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Odette and I shall see you guys next time. Toodles.